Today's Skull and Bones video is all about showing off a PvP game mode, which is the Cargo Hunt. This randomly spawns on the map. You have to sign up to participate on it. Right now, I'm the only participant. And uh, let's go ahead and... Uh, I don't know what that noise is. Let's go ahead and go outside and uh, see if anyone is willing to fight me over a legendary treasure map. And uh, I, I'm not really super confident with my PvP ability because right now there's a lot of people that have been playing the alphas and the betas for like over a year. I had six hours. I played it for I played this game for six hours in, in one of the one of the betas, and that was it. That was it. So uh, I'm gonna keep my eye on the map here. It says participants one out of six. So I mean it's super early. It's like four in the morning uh, <laughs> where I'm at. So not a lot of people playing. I have not seen another player on for quite a while. Also, the game doesn't seem to be getting super popular, but I will keep an eye out. And, uh, yeah, maybe I can just... All, all you have to do is pick up some cargo. And I didn't get any buffs. I'm not going to eat any food buffs. I just expect to die and lose my 150 grilled bananas. I thought these were plantains. Oh, man, I've been calling them plantains. Oh, boy. All right, so I'm just going to chill here. I'm just going to chill. At the point. And, uh, yeah, wait for it to spawn. I don't know if these are... I, you know, I can scout them, right? See if they're players, which I don't know why they would be players when they look like NPC bo uh, boats. I also don't know if NPC boats will be attacking me or not. Uh, where's it at? There we go. And, oh, that is the chat. Okay, let's see. We got 23 seconds until this begins. So I have to... There's no fast traveling when you do this. You, you pick up, like... Uh, I guess the treasure map or something, and then you have to deliver it somewhere. Also, that's not a player, that's just an NPC. Since, uh, you have to, again, you have to actively participate by signing up, so you know how many people you're up against. Or I'm not just gonna, like, get randomly ganked like in other MMOs. Okay, so, it should be sp There it is, loot the cutthroat, okay. And, where do I take it? <laughs> Let's see. I, this is the first time I'm doing this, okay? Valuable items all by everyone. Secure it by bringing it to the target destination. Okay, where's that? Where is that? Bro, I have no idea. Oh. Is it... Huh? Track? Please? Head for the marked outpost, it says. Where? I don't see a... I don't see a marked outpost. Unless it's this skull thing 7,000 meters away. And I don't want to be full blasting the sails. Okay, well, whatever. We're just going to go... 7,000 miles this way? I, I don't know where it wants me to go right now. Is it right here where this big blob of stuff... Surely it's not. Well, well I'm, I'm, am I even going the right way here? Hold on. Oh, I. Okay, so we're going straight east. And do I just take it right there? Is that all I have to? No. Oh, okay, here it is. Here it is. It's it's right in here. These are actually rough waters. These are high level waters. There's level ten NPCs that attack you. The waves get all stormy, break your ship apart. Okay, so now we know where, where we gotta go. That seems really short for, like, a PvP event. Also, how does PvP work if you just have a faster boat? Like, I have 150 bananas I can munch on, and I'm never gonna starve, and I can always be trimming the sails. So, um, yeah, I, I guess I'm not gonna get any fights, um, at least not with a real player. But we can see the legendary chest reward. I'm gonna go ahead and open some other little chests real quick, just get my inventory cleaned up, you know, for what's about to happen here. And uh, at least we can see the reward together. So, again, I guess I can keep my eye out for players. I would assume they would try to snipe me, because uh, if everyone's doing the main story quest right now and everyone has snipers, uh, or the long barrels, I guess, is the official name. So what we got going on here? We got some NPCs just fighting it out. They're just in combat. It's whatever. I don't need to stop and fight them. That's not what the video's about. <laughs> that one's getting flamed. Dude, the flamethrower is funny. Like, if a ship gets close to you and starts burning you... Wow, he just died. He just straight up died. You have to sit there and hold the brace button the entire time they're burning you while all their other cannons are coming off cooldown. It's a, it's like you're locking them down. Okay, uh, yeah. I need to straighten my path a little bit more because the boat's turning due to the wind. 
But hey, we got the wind behind us. You know, we're doing good. It's uh, You actually want the wind a little bit to the side like it is right now. When If you look in the bottom right corner of the screen where it says 15, 16 knots, you want that green, that green arrow that is next to the KTS. That is the, where the wind is, uh, is coming from, right? It's coming from the right, blowing to the left. And when that arrow is green, that means you're maximizing your speed. <laughs> they start singing. Oh, boy. I don't think I've heard that one before. Is that a new one specifically for PvP? Oh, we got, got something up ahead, boys. Well, we got. It's too far away. Can't tell. But yeah, you, if, if I start turning the boat, you'll see that the arrow will compensate. And when the arrow is white, you're still in the, in the, in the clear. It's still helping you out. When it's in the red, you're, you're fighting against the wind. Anyway, I know this is not a video about <laughs> how to sail, how to sail fast. I don't think people are searching that on Google. Skull and Bones, how to sail fast, right? Anyway, okay, let's see what you got, Boat. What level are you? You are level 8 with Mopane Planks. I got plenty of those. I don't need tobacco or cogwheels. We're good. Come on, eat some bananas, guys. Keep up your, your stamina. I mean, do you, is it really stamina intensive to just, like hold the ropes or whatever they're doing like one of the guys is just leaning it's getting splashed there's also a lemur that's um i think that's what for playing the open beta little lemur here he's just chilling he's just scratching his chest oh, we're we're coming up on some ships let's see level seven okay not a threat whoa hold on he's got a repair bombard that's actually worth getting he's also almost dead i think i want to take that I think I want that. Yeah, I'm just gonna take it. Ramming speed, boys! Boom! Okay, yeah, he's dead. Give me that uh, repair bombard. That's a free weapon. I wanted it. I know it gives me a wanted level, whatever. Is that what that's called? I don't know. I'm just gonna loop around the top here. Turn this bad boy in. Yeah, uh, we just sailed. <laughs> no one challenges us in PvP. This is just free loot. We're gonna see what the loot is. Look at all, like this is just loot city right here. What do you got? Uh, that's uh, that's cobalt ingots. That's good. That's pretty good. All right, hard swing it. Bring her in, boys. See how the. <laughs> See how the arrow is red now? Because I'm fighting against the wind. Also, the screen is very smoky and puffy. So, yeah. It, it cuts our speed by 50%, if you're wondering. That's 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 how much. Like, 50% of maximum speed when the arrow would be green. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I guess you can try sailing at an angle whenever this happens. I don't really... Like, see how the arrow is white now? We went up to 12 knots. And then I move the arrow back this way, and it drops us. All right, so I guess we just turn turn it in here, and is that the is, is that the PVP event? Let's see what it says. Uh, treasure in this out. Oh, I have to actually like. Okay, it's near a cross and a hat. I, why would the hat still be there, right? Like that. That's a cache. Uh, I know it's pronounced cash. Okay, search the outpost and claim your prize. Heck yeah, let's uh, let's go find this bad boy, and. Uh, Hopefully it's not a massive island. What is that doink noise? What does that mean? Also, I'm like stuck on the terrain here. All right, that's the the pyre up top. We got uh, not not much not much going on over here. I'm gonna go ahead and swipe a barrel of water, or I guess it's just a water flask. Two of them, huh? Okay, what do we got here? Pick up screw pine. Yeah, why not? We're looking for. Two poles with a cross, and what was that? What was that on the ground? Fish. Seven fish. Just <laughs> just slide them in your pant pocket. I don't know, man. Screw pine. There we go. I'm not, I don't need to light the bonfire. Um, <laughs> oh, here we go. Maybe it's up top. Now, this this rope just gets us back down, but we'll go ahead and, and just ride it down. We'll find it. it it's here somewhere. It, it Also, there's a rumor. I might as well pick up the rumor while I'm while I'm here. Look at these. Uh, what the heck is going on with their face? That is weird. And they got. I don't even want to know. All right, we picked that up just because. Why not? And well, let's do another sweep of the island. Go up this way. Oh, are we? Are we getting somewhere? Did I, did I miss something? Did I miss it down here? 
Might not. Oh, is that a. Dang it. <sighs> well, once you learn the locations, like if you played this for months, you'd be like, oh, I know where this is at on this island, right? But right now, I, I don't know where, where stuff is. So I have to, like, manually look around. And I could do the trick where I put my hand on the wall and. Uh... There it is. We found it. The hat's still there, of course. Because why wouldn't it be? It's, like, it's not like there's any bad weather that would blow it off the stick. Alright, legendary chest. Let's see what kind of loot we get. Hopefully it's something really good so I can get to gear score level 8 on the ship. I don't know why I'm calling it gear score. I don't know what the official term is. We'll figure that out when the game releases, I suppose. Alright, we got... Dude, that's... A Basilisk 2 and a Sticky Fuel. 9,788 silver. That's barely better than a blue. That's barely better than a blue. Layered scales... The repair bombard is from the ship I blew up earlier. So what do we get here? We got front powder kegs. Uh, increases front weapon damage by 10%. I don't think you can craft that. I don't know if you can craft that. That's a decent boost in damage. But, I mean, if you're already dealing thousands of damage... I don't know. I don't know if 10% is a lot. Uh, sticky fuel station. Yeah, I know you can craft that one because I looked that up. So, Basilisk 2. Oh, dude. Look at the damage. Holy crap, 82! 80, 82 gear score. That is the highest you can get right now in the open beta. So if we go to our ship, that's a freaking big upgrade. That is huge. I think I'm level, I, I can push level 8 now, maybe. Like, my weakest gun is in my back, right? Is this stupid fire long gun for 38 gear score. But with the Basilisk 2, yeah, that pushes us to the level 8. Heck yeah, dude. The only people I've seen that hit level 8 so far in the open beta are the keepers. The the freaking people paid by the company to, like, make some sort of guide website or something. And now I'm also level 8. Heck yeah, what does this do? Um, you know what? I want to unequip it real quick just so I can see what it does. Because I didn't read the description. I, I'm sure it has, like, a special ability or something. I just, I just want to know. I'm just excited. Where'd it go? It went to the warehouse, didn't it? Oh, well. Um... I guess we'll figure it. Well, you know, we can access the warehouse uh, by going to manage cargo and then going here in category uh, ship equipment. Okay, Basilisk 2, what do you do? Uh, increases charge rate of the vulnerable effect. I don't know what that means. Uh, <laughs> piercing 2, 20% of piercing damage increases 2 weak points by 75%. I mean, I just want it to be level 8 so I can fight level 10 ships. Because if you're 3 levels below a ship, you deal no damage to them and they just nuke your health bar. You, you, you deal 75% less damage if you're 3 levels below a ship. And I believe, I don't, I can't confirm, but I believe they deal 75% additional damage to you. So yeah, we definitely want to put this Basilisk on. And uh, yeah, be level eight, so that's cool. That's real cool. And uh, yeah, that's the video. So you know, we got to we didn't get to do any actual PvP, but we actually we got to see the rewards. And I think that's what most people clicked on this video for. That's why I would click on this video. Uh, so yeah, thank you so much. Boom, level eight. That feels good. I've been level seven for so damn long. Oh man, set sail. I gotta see just how easy it is to murder ships now with this bat. We, we can't end the video without shooting somebody. I mean, that's what pirates do. You get a new cool gun. Hey, let's go. Like, look at this little torp in the water here. And, uh, <laughs> oh, a little level 8 ship. Hey, I'm level 8, bro. Give me those cobalt ingots. Okay, we're gonna we're just gonna swim in front of them swim sail in front of him and then we're just gonna can in his face oh it's gonna be f so good all right and there's so many of his bros around dude look look in the distance but we could take him now all right where's your weak point there it is Ooh. Oh, that, that did not hit that hard oh i can shoot a bunch of times oh that was half his health that was half his health we are evenly matched, and he's already, like, able to be boarded. There we go. We got a hook on him. Let's see what we got. Give me those <laughs> cobalt ingots. All right. And, yeah, I know I'm getting shot at by something or whatever. It's fine. Anyway, that's the video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you had fun. I hope you learned something. Uh, dude, go out and do the PvP events. You just saw the weapon I got. It's totally worth it. It is insanely worth it. I... <laughs> We're level 8 now, man. That is a huge power jump from 7. 
Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Leave a comment, and on the right side of your screen is a video you should absolutely click. And if you don't click it, you will never win a PvP event. So make sure you, you click it so you win.